Hi, and welcome to the Travel Boss. Today's video is about the top 10 things to do in Valladolid. Valladolid is a beautiful and historic city in the heart of Spain. It has a rich cultural heritage and is home to some of the country's most famous landmarks and attractions. Whether you're a first-time visitor or a seasoned traveler, there's plenty to see and do in Valladolid. In this video, we'll explore the top 10 things to do in Valladolid. We managed to arrange a nice offer for you as a viewer on one of the activities. You can find the link in the description, but more about this later. Let's get started. Number 10. The National Museum of Sculpture The National Museum of Sculpture is a must-visit attraction for anyone interested in art and history. The museum is housed in a beautiful 16th-century building that was once a convent. Inside, visitors can admire a large collection of sculptures, including some of the most important works of art from the Spanish Renaissance. The collection includes pieces from artists such as Gregorio Fernandez, Juan de Juni, and Perugate, as well as works from other Spanish and European sculptors. There are also temporary exhibits that showcase contemporary artists. The museum is organized in chronological order, which makes it easy to follow the evolution of Spanish sculpture throughout the centuries. Visitors can also explore the beautiful cloisters and gardens, which offer a tranquil escape from the bustling city streets. Number 9. Explore the Plaza Mayor The Plaza Mayor is the heart of Valladolid, and it's a great place to start your exploration of the city. The square is surrounded by beautiful buildings, including the Town Hall and the Church of San Benito. The plaza has been a hub of activity in Valladolid since the Middle Ages, and it's still a popular gathering place for locals and tourists alike. The square is a great place to people watch, as well as to enjoy some of the local cuisines. There are many cafes and restaurants around the plaza that offer a range of dishes, from tapas to full meals. If you're lucky, you might even catch a live performance or a cultural event. Number 8. The Cathedral of Valladolid The Cathedral of Valladolid is one of the most iconic buildings in the city. The cathedral dates back to the 16th century and is a stunning example of Gothic architecture. Visitors can admire the intricate stonework and beautiful stained glass windows, as well as explore the various chapels and altars inside. One of the highlights of the cathedral is the Retablo Mayor, a magnificent altar piece that features over 45 scenes from the life of Christ. The cathedral also houses a museum where visitors can learn more about the history of the building and the art and artifacts that have been collected over the centuries. Number 7. Take a stroll along the Pisuerga River. The Pisuerga River is a beautiful natural feature that runs through Via Delayed. The river offers a great opportunity to take a leisurely stroll and enjoy the scenic views. There are several bridges that span the river, including the famous Point Colgan, a suspension bridge that dates back to the 19th century. One of the best ways to experience the river is by taking a boat tour. There are several companies that offer guided tours of the river, including some that focus on the history and culture of Valladolid. Along the river, there are also several parks and green spaces where visitors can relax and enjoy the outdoors. Number 6. Casa Museo de Zorrilla The Casa Museo de Zorrilla is a fascinating museum that is dedicated to the life and work of José Zorrilla, one of the most famous writers in Spanish history. Zorrilla was born in Valladolid in the 19th century and is best known for his play Don Juan Tenorio. The museum is located in the house where Zorrilla lived for a time, and it offers a glimpse into the life of this important figure. The museum features a collection of artifacts related to Zorilla's life and work, including manuscripts, books, and personal belongings. Visitors can also explore the various rooms of the house, including the writer's study and bedroom. Number 5. Explore the Campo Grande Park Campo Grande Park is one of the largest parks in Valle du Lade, and it's a great place to spend an afternoon. The park is located in the city center and features a beautiful lake, walking paths, and lush greenery. It's a popular spot for locals to relax and enjoy the outdoors, and visitors can do the same. The park is also home to several monuments and sculptures, including a statue of Christopher Columbus and a monument to the poet Jose Zarilla. There are several cafes and restaurants in the park where visitors can grab a snack or a drink, and there are also playgrounds and sports facilities for children and adults. 
Number 4. Palace of Santa Cruz The Palace of Santa Cruz is a stunning Renaissance palace that dates back to the 16th century. The palace was built by Cardinal Mendoza and was used as a residence for the Spanish monarchy in the 17th and 18th centuries. Today, the palace is home to the Foreign Ministry's Archive and Library, but it's still open to visitors who want to explore its rich history. Visitors can admire the beautiful facade and courtyard of the palace, as well as explore the various rooms and galleries inside. There are several exhibitions that showcase the palace's history, including its role in Spanish politics and diplomacy over the centuries. Number 3. Discover the Monastery of San Joaquin in Santa Ana The Monastery of San Joaquin in Santa Ana is a beautiful Baroque building that dates back to the 18th century. The monastery was founded by the Order of the Carmelites and was used as a convent until the 19th century. Today, the monastery is home to the Museum of Sacred Art, which features a collection of religious art and artifacts from the Middle Ages to the 19th century. Visitors can explore the various chapels and halls of the monastery, including the beautiful cloisters and gardens. The museum features a wide range of exhibits, including paintings, sculptures, and religious objects, such as chalices and reliquaries. Number 2. Oriental Museum The Oriental Museum is one of the most unique museums in Valladolid. The museum is dedicated to the art and culture of Asia, with a particular focus on China, Japan, and Korea. Visitors can admire a wide variety of exhibits, including paintings, ceramics, and textiles, as well as artifacts from the Silk Road. The museum is organized by theme and offers a fascinating look into the history and culture of Asia. There are also temporary exhibits that showcase contemporary artists and their work. The museum is a great place to learn more about the world beyond Spain and Europe. Number 1. Castel and Leon Vineyard Tour with Wine Tasting No trip to Valle Delayed would be complete without sampling some of the local cuisines. The city is known for its delicious food, with a particular emphasis on meat and wine. Our absolute number one tip is to enjoy a vineyard tour with wine tasting. Begin your tour with an exploration of the vineyard's 15 plots. See the grapes growing in the sun and learn about the vineyard's organic farming processes. Following the same path as the grapes, continue to the fermentation and barrel aging process area. Learn about Spanish viticulture. Wander through Finca Villacris's vineyard near Valladolid see the fermentation process, and enjoy a tasting of local wines. We have selected the best wine tour for you in our opinion. You can book tickets for this via the link in the description. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.